Hey, Dan from Veg here. I'm lucky enough to have this incredible um, oak tree in, in my backyard and I've just been getting to know it. And just recently a couple of things about the, the tree came together. One was that on the south side of this oak, and this is a, it's a, got a diameter, trunk diameter of over a meter, so it's basically on the south side of a wall of wood, is this, this tree that's really, or well, this shrub, it's growing really well, really healthy. I'd love to identify it. Um, and we were really impressed by how it manages to grow not only in, in so much shade, it's almost in full shade all the time, but the, the oak is a really, really good at taking all the, a lot of the water out of the soil. So how does it cope in such a dry spot right next to this massive oak? So that was one thing that puzzled us. And then another thing that I noticed the other day was looking up the, the trunk here, there was, there's a crease in the trunk. And in the, in the bottom of the crease, there's a quite a lush dark green moss and then coming out to the sides as it obviously gets drier there's um, we move into a, a lichen a gray lichen and then just into the bark of the oak and i was thinking wow it looks a bit like a, a riverbed or a stream bed and then i thought well maybe it is so i've got my my rainfall simulation unit here and i'm going to climb up and pour some oak uh, up up uh, pour some water sorry up higher on the oak um, as if it was raining and we'll see what happens so here we are up in the tree and, the, and it's about to rain. So we'll start pouring rain just on the trunk and the branches up here. And watch what happens. So how was that? It was like an ephemeral creek running down through that crease and you saw the waterfalls and in, in the bits where it flat, flattens out you've got this deposition of organic matter um, that's been brought down by the rain from high in the tree so it's not just a kind of a, an in-house water harvesting system that's directing water to the base of the oak but um, it's bringing organic matter as well, nutrients. But the, the cool thing that we then noticed was that as you see the pathway of water, the, where the water's moving as it comes down, so all these converging um, tributaries coming down the tree, they run down here, right underneath this tree that we were wondering about how it survives with such little water. And if you put your finger in here now, it's soaking wet. So all that water and a lot of that organic matter pulls around the base of this little plant so it's found itself a brilliant place to live.